What's up guys, it's Lucy here and over the next five weeks I thought it would be fun to bring you along on step two of my fitness journey. You see over the last 12 weeks and I want to say kind of 30 weeks I've just been going to the gym, training hard, really concentrating on strength and especially within the last 12 weeks me and my brother like we upped my calories and we were really pushing for some deadlift PRs, squat PRs and I had a blast, like I was loving the changes I was seeing in my body and just really enjoying that feeling of getting stronger and I swear I have just listened to him, I've been just doing exactly what he tells me and I have just never felt so excited and just pleased with like my progress as far as like working out and going to the gym goes. I thought it would be fun to do a cut and see how much I can lean out and just challenge myself and push myself like never before because I've never really done anything like this and I've been very inspired this year you guys know by like the likes of Nikki Blacketta and Heidi Summers and I admire so much the girls who do like the competitions whether it be bikini or physique and while I'm not quite there in confidence to do something like that yet I thought I would set myself a goal of a photo shoot and it's not in the sense that just to point out it's not in the sense that it's like oh I hate my body and I want to you know, see like abs or get skinny or anything like that. Um, because if anything, over the past 30 odd weeks that I've been going to the gym consistently, it's been such an eye opener for me and it's been absolutely awesome because there were things I didn't like my, about my body before and I would think, right, I'm going to go to the gym now because I want this and this. And over time of working out, getting stronger and feeling like so excited about what my body could do, all those thoughts in my head about what it should look like or anything like that just kind of disappeared. Now, I still have my insecurities, I still have days where it's like, oh, just wish you could see my abs today or my butt was a little bit more pert, but it's kind of less and less and it just makes me happy every single time I step in the gym when I can go one more rep or lift a little bit heavier. I think that's why I want to kind of now do the cut and just see just concentrate so much more on like everything that's going into my body, what your body can do, what it's capable of, and sort of, yeah, seeing if I can lean out a little bit and look like I've never looked before. Now it is day two and we have an upper body day.
say something guys, Walmart is dangerous first thing in the morning because I thought I had work this morning but it turns out I was looking at the wrong date on my calendar so I walked with Kelly and then I went to Walmart just so I could pick up some snacks because like I mentioned earlier um, I was having trouble reaching my fat like in my macros um, and today's like one of those days where I get a lot of fat and a lot of protein but not a lot of carbs so it's going to be interesting so I thought I would go and pick up some stuff um, that's Kelly's bag um, but oh my goodness the bakery smells amazing in the morning I was like what is that smell and then I walk around the bakery and it's all the freshly baked breads and donuts and I'm going donuts just some snacks that I picked up I thought I would try these cocoa roast almonds and I got the snack pack just because I thought it's a lot easier for me to have like okay you can only have one pack rather than measuring things out and I did pick up some 70% cocoa because I love lint chocolate picked up some chicken and I was reading about vegetables that are good and like lowering carbs but yeah low carb vegetables and I read about squash and we tried a recipe a few weeks back with roasted squash with um, blue apron and me and Kelly absolutely loved it so I picked up a squash and that will be different just because you know when sometimes you get sick of eating the same old vegetables all the time I also picked up a red grapefruit because they're good for you and I love grapefruit but again I just never never seem to have it in got some avocados because I didn't have any avocados and obviously they're good for fat that is a oh snacks as well I picked up the Galbani is that how you say it Italy's favorite cheese brand and it's the string cheese um, seven grams of protein six grams of fat and one carb so that would just be perfect if I'm in the evening when I have a little bit of protein left no carbs left and I need some fats What's up guys it is nearly the end of Thursday which has been my first rest day in this whole new program and new macros this week has definitely been trial and error really hope you like this video and I really hope you're excited about coming on this journey with me um, I'm looking forward to next week and pushing myself even harder hitting those macros yes Chris if you're watching I will be working so much harder to hit those macros I will be back next week with some more fun workouts and some more fun food. Bye guys.